how would you feel if I told you that a uh, competitor is going to open up next door to you and as a government we're going to give them between a six to eight and a half percent break right out of the gate uh, competing with you? How would you feel about that? Uh, pro probably not too good. So, and that's essentially what's going on right now is that uh, uh, due to outdated e-fairness, e-commerce laws within the state of Florida, uh, online only retailers are getting a competitive advantage against brick and mortar, rep uh, brick and mortar businesses that we represent in the state of Florida. I'm with a uh, campaign called Florida Alliance for Main Street Fairness and uh, we're seeking to close the internet sales tax loophole within the state of Florida. The basic uh, argument is that uh, right now we have an outdated tax system that allows, that uh, has a major loophole that allows the internet only retailers to avoid collecting sales taxes within the state, the state of Florida. It creates an un, uh, unlevel playing field uh, that conversely affects small businesses that otherwise have to c collect sales taxes for online sales. Whether it's uh, Disney or Walmart or your independent bookseller, all those folks have to collect the sales taxes. Uh, only a few folks like Amazon, Overstock, some folks like that currently aren't paying those taxes. Cost of the state of Florida, the consequence, $1.5 billion a year lost annually uh, in the state of Florida. So that's why uh, a lot of states are looking to close this loophole. Uh, and where could this money go? Things like transportation, education, infrastructure in a time when uh, uh, when we're having uh, budget deficits uh, doesn't it make sense to close the loophole that is affecting so many small business owners anyway. Florida Tax Watch says not requiring internet sellers to collect sales tax not only erodes Florida's tax base but creates an unfair advantage over brick and mortar retailers equaling six to seven and a half it's actually eight and a half percent which is generally what most Chamber of Commerce represent. A uh, generic poll that was done uh, found that 60% of the average Floridians would support uh, uh, Florida considering passing a law that would require the online retailers to collect the sales tax at the point of purchase. 60% uh, uh, supported it uh, without even knowing very much on the issue. A couple, uh, couple myths on, on it is that uh, requiring online only companies to collect sales tax is inconceivable and unenforceable. Uh, the state of New York successfully enforcing a law passed in the state requiring the online only retailers to collect the sales taxes. Uh, Texas just recently passed, passed similar legislation signed into law uh, last week by Governor Perry. Arkansas, California, Tennessee is looking at it, South Carolina. A number of states uh, are closing this loophole. Uh, requiring online only retailers to collect the sales talk tax will result in less internet commerce and hurt the economy. I think it's probably an old argument uh, when the internet was a fledgling industry. Uh, a lot of companies were just coming about. Uh, you could maybe make that argument. Now it's a multi-billion uh, going up to a trillion dollar industry every year uh, for the folks. Uh, it's online only uh, retailers exploit the loophole and fail to collect the sales tax at the point of purchase. It results in the unfair competitive advantage over local brick and mortar businesses, which represents about 97% of the uh, businesses within the state of Florida. Uh, among the results, these brick and mortar retailers are going out of business, increased unemployment, fewer tax dollars collected, along with the $1.5 billion. Uh, what will happen is a company like Amazon will go into a state, uh, say like South Carolina, and they say, okay, we're going to build you a distribution facility that's going to create 4,000 jobs, but you have to give us this exemption. Uh, we actually have financial net data that shows uh, about five times greater loss to the state uh, for implementing something like this. Uh, and uh, 1.5 billion is actually a two-year-old study done by the University of Tennessee. Uh, we have a new study that we're doing that we anticipate may, may uh, be another uh, 500 million on top of that. In South Carolina, uh, conservative Tea Party Governor Nikki Haley even uh, came out against uh, what they're doing. Uh, they said, you know, 
you got free property, they got tax incentives, they got plenty of things. Don't ask us to give you sales tax relief when we're not giving it to the bookstore down the street, when we're not giving it to other stores on the other side of the town. It's just not a level playing field. Uh, bottom line, a sale is a sale. Uh, re regardless of where you're purchasing it, shouldn't everybody have to pay play by the same rules? Uh, much like the No on 4 campaign was the big issue for much of the business community last year, this one's shaping up to be the number one business initiative going into this legislative cycle. Uh, got endorsements uh, as the top issue for the Florida Retail Federation, Associated Industries of Florida, and the Florida Chamber of Commerce, all who are coming out strong in uh, putting their weight behind closure. Uh, this. Bottom line, equal application of the law, the law can apply to some and not others. Uh, enforcement of the law is the duty of the state to fairly and equitably enforce the laws that they impose, and sales to sale, whether it's on Main Street, closing this loophole creates jobs, uh, filling some of Florida's budget woes, and levels the playing field for many of the small businesses that really are the backbone of Florida's economy. How can you help? Uh, one of the main things that I'm doing traveling around the state is collecting resolutions of support from different chambers of commerce. So that would be the first thing I would ask that uh, uh, you join. So far I've got about 40 others. Uh, ask that you pass a resolution from the Tampa Latin Chamber to support closing the loophole. Uh, I have a petition that I put on pretty much everyone's chair. Uh, if you agree with the effort, all we need is your name, email, and the county you live in. And You've uh, voiced your support. Uh, you can visit, it on, visit us online at mymainstreetflorida.com. Uh, we've got a Facebook site, just like us on there. And now that you uh, kind of know a little bit about the issue, it's been a, kind of a back burner issue the last couple of years, but now it's gained a lot of relevance, especially when states are looking to close budget loopholes and, uh, and retailers from uh, independent bookstores are joining with Walmart, where you don't see that very often, but everybody's kind of getting it together on this, saying, okay, it's just not fair that these guys are getting a competitive advantage. The government shouldn't be picking with winners and losers. And uh, thank you for your time, and we appreciate your support.